Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are finally going to get to a video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. This one is going to be tips and secrets for the map Shoreline. Similar to the video we did on customs, this one is going to cover key spawns, med spawns, and hopefully some things you didn't know about. Let's get to it. Starting out from the tunnel spawn, you immediately want to check the seats on the yellow bus directly in front of the tunnel for the West 301 key. This is quite a nice key that unlocks the room with the lead X spawn. Also to the left, just up the road, you can check the white bus seats for the cottage safe key. Just inside the little bunker next to the bus, you can find a lootable weapons crate. Now we move on to what we call Scav Island. After quite a noisy trek across the metal ship, you get to the island. Here you can find a hidden cache, multiple lootable crates, and two med bags here in the shed. You can also find East 328 key on the table next to the boat motor. Now we move down the road to the gas station. There's plenty of interesting things around this area. First of all, you should know that the hill above the gas station is a common spot for people to go and snipe. Here you can see a good ways down to the pier and potentially knock out some shooter born in heaven tasks. Be careful when coming up to this area. Moving down to the gas station, you may not know, but you can get inside and find two crates and a safe to loot. If you hug the wall closely, you won't take any damage from the fire. Coming out the front of the gas station, you can find West 221 key on the beach chair next to the blue huts. Also, don't forget to hit the cache inside the hut. Now, before we get to the pier, I'd like to mention how careful you should be around this area. There's so many angles in which you can get pinned down here, so just travel quickly and don't stay in the open for too long. Check the trunk of the vehicle for a rare key here. Inside the bank, check the ground in front of the filing cabinets for West 205 key spawn. Also, all 12 of the individual drawers can be searched, so loot up. Upstairs on both sides, you can find safes to loot, but be careful as it's common to get shot through the windows. You can actually avoid that by hitting your prone key just after you hit F to search the safe. That way you lay down before you start searching and are safe from any potential snipers. Outside the back of the bank, you can get on this building here by running over the tipped over porta potty, but there's no real reason to and it's pretty dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, it's a long trek to the lighthouse, but there are two reasons to make it. First, you can find a key on top of the broken box halfway up the tower. Second, this is a decent spot to try and get some long range headshots for the shooter born in heaven task. Just be careful as there's almost no cover out there and if someone sees you, you're gonna have a bad time. Moving out of this area, you can loot an ammo box behind these sandbags, and just to show you, this is where you can get a good angle on the bank windows and get an easy kill on someone who did not watch this video. Next, we'll move up the road even further. There's not much out here, but it's worth noting, be careful of the area around CCP, as it's a minefield. Up the road, you can find a tower that sometimes spawns a backpack or a pack of armor. And directly at Road to Customs, you can find a grenade crate, which makes for easy loot, especially if you get that spawn. Now let's head to the radio tower. It's worth coming here for one specific reason. You can easily pick off people who are trying to cross the open field here. There are a ton of spawns around this area, and if you are trying to get to the resort, the quickest way is to run across this field. Now I want to stress how important this next part is. Not just on Shoreline, but on any map, you always want to move near cover. If you move near cover, you can always find some in a pinch. This will help you survive an ambush and give you a chance to turn the tide of the battle. Shoreline is full of open areas. Do your best not to run through them. Across the field we find Weather Station. You can find a duffel, med bag, safe, filing cabinets, and drink spawns here. At the top of the tower, check the cabinet and the grenade box for the safe 321 key. Be wary of the windows in Weather Tower as you can easily be shot or grenaded through them. Heading on over to Power Station, make sure you check the hidden cache under the troll bridge along the way. Once you arrive at Power, check the crate for a duffel and a little room near the front gate for West 104 key. Going inside, there's tons of toolboxes that can have corrugated hose in them along with other useful items. Check the chairs in the back room for East 222 key. Don't forget to check the jackets as well. They spawn better loot than ever now. In the furthest back room, there's a duffel spawn if you're really desperate to find one. The upstairs room of the power station can be unlocked with the key that I cover in this video. If you're interested, I'll put a link to this video in the description down below. Right outside and across the bridge, there is another grenade box inside the sandbag barricade. You can never have too many grenades. Let's now move up the river and show you guys one of the spots I use to get more headshots for Shooter Born in Heaven. The top platform here has a direct view of the front of power station and I have gotten many kills here. Just next to the platform is Bus Depot. 
Check the bus for West 112 key and inside the station you'll find a lootable body and filing cabinets. Now I'm going to do a whole other video soon on just resort specifically because there is so much to it. But for now, I want to stress how much you should avoid going in through the front. There's almost always scav spawns here and the amount of windows that can have an angle on you is ridiculous. It's much safer to enter through the west wing, east wing, or back of the admin building. There are still a few windows here, make sure you watch them as you enter. If someone peeks out them, you pretty much have to stand your ground and fire back or you'll most likely go down. Now behind admin, you always want to check the corner of the box on this platform for the East 205 key. You can also get on the rock here and get some good visuals. Be careful of Sniper Scav on the rock next to the bunker. He is very mean. I'm going to backtrack a little now and talk about the town right outside of Tunnel that we didn't go to. This is the most hidden gym in all of Shoreline. There is an unbelievable amount of loot to be found throughout all these houses. Jackets, duffels, toolboxes, and loose spawns including possible full air filters, water filters, hose, etc. It takes some time, but if you want a safe looting experience in Shoreline, this is the way to do it. Make sure to check the chair just inside the White House for West 203 key. Next to the town, you can find the villa and cottage houses. There's usually scavs outside these, so be careful. Hit villa first, where you can find a duffel on the porch. Inside, you can find a computer, weapon locker, and two safes. Head back down and go out the back, but check the key rack here before you go for the West 220 key. Now I don't recommend going back out the front as it's dangerous. Go to the backyard and use this spot to jump over the wall to get to the cottage side. Check the top of the blue barrels for the cottage key, which will get you inside. Inside, there is a safe that can be unlocked with the cottage safe key. Again, don't go out the front. Use this jump over to make a quick escape out the back. Moving up to the swamp, there's more loot to be found, especially in this house that isn't destroyed. Check it every time you pass through. The wall above swamp that leads to the river is usually pretty safe. It's few and far between that I encounter anyone here, so it can be a safer way to travel. And if you're new to shoreline, you can use the wall to help you not get lost. We're in the home stretch here. Once you've traveled the back wall to the bunker and cross over, you can find a duffel here on this deck behind admin. Keep going east and eventually you'll hit the broken house on the hill outside of East Wing. Here are two weapons crates. It's worth noting that people have gotten Red Rebel ice picks out of these green crates, so make sure you check them. And that is just about everything I can think of to talk about on Shoreline. As I said, I want to save the details of Resort for another video because there's just so much to cover there. I hope this helped you guys out and you discovered something you didn't know about before. Expect more videos on the other maps I haven't covered yet in the future. I stream on Twitch 6 days a week so feel free to drop by and ask me any questions you have. I'm always happy to help. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.